He said he's never voted in his life. So, why, why is he running for president if the dude has never voted? Maybe because he doesn't why? know who to vote for. He doesn't trust. Like Hillary had a that email scandal, and Trump had the Russian scandal. So people are like, I don't trust. I'm not gonna vote for both of them. So yeah. I understand why you don't vote for but some here's people. The thing. That have the I turned 18 on a voting year, and I voted. I definitely voted because here's the problem: if you don't vote you are not allowed to have any say no matter what country you're from if you do not vote you do not have any say on anything political because you, you didn't choose that you just can't complain. yeah you can you can say you can have a conversation about it you just can't complain about anything the most underrated youtube podcast we are the living banter podcast i hope you guys are good james i heard that what we're doing is actually called a vodcast a it's vodcast. a video type of podcast oh it's wow the first okay. time i heard that was today seriously but are we setting that trend yeah that's oh, well, awesome vodcast it is then vodcast vodcast you know what that vodcast life that vod <laughs> <laughs> yeah the vodcast we knows we knows that vodcast life he was well, guys, welcome. Yo, how's your day been, eh? Oh, yo, it's it's been intense, you know. I still I have to finish a lot of my college work because it's coming towards the end of the semester. Still having to edit some of my videos. Getting it, it's been a it's been a rough week for editing and getting everything together. Like even this even this week, it was on Tuesday. I literally didn't have a video for my second channel, my music channel. And yeah. I was literally like, you know what? I'm going to make a dumb video. And I did. And it was so much fun. <laughs> but Everyone yeah. Loves those yeah. It was so spontaneous. And it was done in like oh, awesome. a day. So yeah. Sometimes you, as a YouTuber, you just got to yeah. kind of roll with this sort of thing. You got to go with the flow. Yeah. You got to go Speaking with the flow. Speaking about the flow. Yes. We're getting some channel flow in. So Skype's yes. not going. It's getting there. I but see. you know what better? You would grow even more. Yes. So make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like the video, it just helps. You think, oh, one like's not gonna help. It really does. One it like really always does. helps. Leave a comment of what type of guest you'd want to come on the podcast. Yes. Today we're taking a little, little banter. Yes. Um, just me and adventure you, over here. No guest today. Just Yames and Caden. There we go. Yes, but you know mate. what? I have a beauty joke today. Oh, let's hear it. Let's. Hear it. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Yes. Let's hear you, it. You can't be ready. It's too good. Okay. I'm ready. So I'm going for a beanie joke as I'm wearing a beanie. Yes. You don't. Mate. Maybe you can't see it because it's, it's a hiding. camouflage beanie. Yes, I don't see it. It's a camo beanie. It's a camouflage. A camouflage beanie. beanie. You can't beanie. see it. <laughs> can't see that beanie. Okay. Here's the joke. That yes, maybe what's joke. You don't know that. Ooh. Why does Batman only wear dark beanies? Why? Batman doesn't want to get shot. Okay. So why does? Robin wear bright beanies. I don't know why. Batman doesn't want to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! Robin in the light. Robin in the light. Robin taking hits. He's gonna get shifted to get Actual shot shots, real man. quick. Yeah. <laughs> get the one digs. Uh, would you like more, Batman or Robin? Uh, I would say Robin because there's so much. There's Ooh. only like one Batman, you know, like Bruce Wayne, but like Robin oh, like yes. keeps rotating. So there's all like new story, like Dick Grayson goes on to become yeah. Nightwing. And then there's like a few other Robins and it Robin. just gets weird and, but it's cool. It's a cool, interesting storyline. Robin Hood. Yes. Is also in that universe. Yes. In DC. Yes. What? Yeah. yeah I think it, yeah. Imagine Robin Hood versus Robin. The people's thief. First, Batman's theme. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Try to steal his How thunder. did we get to this topic? Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I have one more joke. We're yes. going to end this this banter roller coaster over here. What yes. do you call a reptile wearing a hoodie and holding a knife? No beanie oh, this time. Just a hoodie ooh, and holding I, a knife. I have a, I have a feeling I know reptile. this one. It's an alligator. Alligator. Oh, okay, Alligator. okay. I get where that's going. I get that. I get that. Because everyone in the alley 
Where's everyone in the game? No, I'm just joking. Don't take my word for it, please. Hey, I hang out in alleys. What are you trying to say? Okay, don't shake my hand. Never mind. Don't shake the hand. No. Don't shake hands. No, Kaden, you can't say that. Kaden, no. Don't shake his hand, Kaden. Don't go there. <laughs> Not a chance. But you know what? As you can see in the title, there's some crazy stuff to talk about. But the first thing I want to talk about, Yam, is... Yes. Go. Hit me with it. TikTok might get banned in the US. Oof. The biggest social Oof. media platform at the moment. Over Yo. 2 billion users. They might get banned, bro. Bro, what some the heck? Crazy stuff. Is... So, I just looked at this article and stuff like that, as you do <laughs> as a yes. podcast host. They asked the articles. US Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, would you recommend people download TikTok on their phones? And Mike said, only if you want all your privacy to be handed over to the Chinese Communist Party. So basically, TikTok, if you did not know, is a, it's a Chinese invented brand. It's owned by the Chinese, they invented it. So any US um, government people, government officials rather, they're not allowed mm. to have TikToks on their phone. That's mm. like a rule. You're not allowed to have TikTok on your phone because they take mad privacy stuff from you and their phones can't get leaked. If you work for the government, obviously your phone can't yeah. get leaked. They're not allowed to have TikTok on their phones. And now the US is thinking of, or the Trump administrative party rather, not party, the Trump administration is thinking of letting TikTok being banned in the US. Mm. What is your thoughts about oh, that? Okay, so here's the thing. TikTok as itself is a really like decent social media platform. I was actually... Yeah considering um starting my own tiktok because of the great algorithm yeah because of the great algorithm and also because of this one youtuber known as mali he also like he gained mad subscribers because of just of like the funny clips he posted on tiktok so i was considering yeah, you know yeah so i was like considering getting a lot of my videos together and just like getting all these bunch of clips and start like uploading like all these like five second clips like once a day and like just schedule yeah. it for like a month or it's two so in advance. Based. Yeah. So that's what I was thinking of doing, but I'm like holding off on it a bit, you know, collecting those clips. But here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing that scares me the most about TikTok, you know, stealing everyone's privacy. I mean, sure, a lot of apps do like steal your personal information because you are giving it yeah. to them. They are allowed to use it for advertisement. AI is real. Yes. yes so that's that's kind of an obvious one but the problem is is it records your keystrokes and for someone who doesn't really understand what a keystroke is a keystroke is what you type on your phone so why this is so bad Same is because Facebook. yeah so this is why it's so bad it's so bad because recording your keystrokes is Basically, it can record all your passwords and distribute it to whoever they want to the highest bidder. And that's where the problem yeah. comes in. I mean, stealing your Google searches, it's its not that bad. I mean, you're searching for pots and pans, you get an advertisement for pots and pans, you know? It's, it's, not, yeah. it's not that intense. It's the keystrokes that you really got to watch out for because you could be typing anything into your phone and then it can be picked up as, you know oh, this is a password, now we can just use this and just sell it off to the highest bidder. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty intense. I mean, India banned it, and uh, yeah. I kind of understand where they're coming from. Mm. You can't trust the Chinese, we've learned this from mm. what they call is the whole world, <laughs> the whole world to <laughs> go into Havoc. Ooh, yeah, Thank that's, you. that's a touchy Chinese subject. People, I love you, but... Ish. Let's watch out next time. Please tell us what's please, happening. Yo, yo, please hit us up and be like, next time you want to cause a global pandemic, just be like, hey, yo, we're about to start yo. this. Can you guys like, you know, you know, just like last time, just, you just know, let just, us know, maybe. Yeah, just let us know, just us so that we can. Five second TikTok. Yeah. This is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on TikTok. Just I don't know like, <laughs> what they do. Just like that one girl. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I can't remember her name. Hey guys, welcome to. Is it? I don't even know. Yeah, it's just her, yeah. and it's like, welcome. It's like, hey guys, we're having another global pandemic. That's, oh, that's no. a whole YouTube video by itself. If it's yeah. not just a TikTok, oh. it's just the intro. Hey guys, bye guys. Bruh, <laughs> TikTok that's is it. mad. 
It's moving mad. Oh, it's moving way too fast. Yeah. It's making the world more fast paced. Yeah. Like not, scrolling, yeah. like, I don't see that. I don't see that. Yeah. It's messed up. And also, it's kind of yeah. like, it's going to be like the second invasion of Viners. Because I remember way <laughs> back, if you've been around so YouTube, true. you understand what the invasion of the Viners are. Ex Viners, yeah. Yeah, so you see, you got. Auto P Vine. Yeah, so what's gonna be happening is all these people who, like, grew influence on TikTok are gonna move over to YouTube. And yeah. that's gonna be they a are. very it's interesting time. Because we all know the Vine, the Viners came over, the Adpocalypse yeah. happened. So. Adpocalypse Part 2? You know? Like, what's gonna be happening? Possibly. But you know what? I have hope that TikTok yeah. will sort this out and we will actually get another platform. Because TikTok is a good platform for, like, sharing short little clips and for people to actually yeah. grow themselves. Yeah. Yeah. People's making a living off TikTok. Mm. It's pretty crazy. It really like, is. Like, you think about it 10 years ago, if you had to tell your parents, Mom, I want to pursue YouTube. I want to make these videos for a living. Buy me a camera, buy me a, a tripod and all this stuff. I'm going to make a living off this, Mom. She's like, what are you talking about? No, go study, do your homework. <laughs> yeah. You say that now, you show them the proof. Mom, there's multi-millionaires that have made their money started from YouTube and then expanded to merch and stuff like that, but it's from YouTube. Yes. It's a whole different story now. You can make a healthy, comfortable living of social media indeed you can crazy. it is it really it's is crazy it's gonna go yeah yeah and speaking Hopefully of social we can media make a little loving or revenue of this podcast oh, Actually, yeah. like subscribe to this channel subscribe <laughs> like and subscribe yeah. but speaking of social media let's move on to our next topic kanye yeah. west kanye Mr. west <laughs> have a west day that's what he's calling it he actually like copyrighted that slogan, West Bruh. Day. What, what is going on in the world? On Kanye West wants to run for president. When in is November. that a oh, when yes. is that a good idea? On when is that a good idea? Please explain know. this to me. You know what? America. I can tell you. America. If Donald Trump is can be president. Anyone can be president. No, a celebrity America. America. Listen, has please. His own TV show. Boom, president. Yeah. Excuse me, America. Anyone listening? At from America watching <laughs> this podcast listen to me have you have Donald Trump for Shout president out. you want Kanye West is it working out with Donald Trump? Trump I'm not gonna lie no maybe I love you no. but no okay tell me why not no 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 tell me why not you, th let's you think let's get reasonable let's get reasonable okay okay everyone first has their opinions go for it first off you want someone who's not exactly run a proper business before someone who doesn't have half the money that trump has because okay. be, let's be real let's be real okay. okay hear me out hear me out hear me out i'm checking net worth right hear now. me out trump he is a billionaire they're both billionaires yeah trump has run multiple businesses started multiple yeah. businesses from the ground up without Even any that? sort of music yeah. influence so, yeah. thinking that, I thought in the in the initial, you know, I was like, I didn't know terribly, I didn't know terribly much about a lot of what Trump had said, you know, of his yeah. tweets and whatever. But I just knew he would he would be a good president if he ran it like a business. In a way, it would be good for the economy. Yeah. So Trump's net worth, I'm looking at it now. It's not always accurate, but Forbes, two point one yeah. billion. Kanye is around one point six. So yeah, roughly but right yeah. half. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, Trump, right? He would have run it like a business, sure. but because it's a political situation, not an economical situation, it was a complete Ooh. wreckage. The the things that Trump says are just, uh, it's just terrible. You can't have a president oh saying stuff like that. And you know, Kanye says some and the funny pretty thing is interesting he didn't say things that before he was president. Yeah. And you know Kanye yeah. already says some pretty interesting things. So now him Not being so president. Now. Not recently. <laughs> Wait till he gets president, boy. Wait till he gets yeah, president. Yeah, things do change when you become president. Exactly. And here's the thing. There are so many better people that could be president. But 
because he is such a social media star, because he's such a music star and a hip hop artist, everyone wants to vote for him simply because he has the fame. They don't want to vote for someone who actually understands how to run a country. Yeah. That's that's so, what the problem is. I look at the top candidates now. We have yeah. Joe Biden, Donald Trump's running again for the red, the Republicans, and we have mm. Bernie Sanders. These are the top candidates. Uncle People Bernie. Saying Joe Biden for the the blue side. Mm. I don't know. I don't think, to be honest, I love Kanye. I love what he does. He's a very influential person. He started a lot of good things. Yeezy Foundation. He does okay. good things. He's he has a very controversial past. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of mistakes as we do. Mm -hmm. Hasn't always made the best choices. He's getting better. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he's going to become president. Yeah. Why? Because um, people, I'd say from the age 45 up, they're not really interested. Okay, from 50 up, sorry. I don't 45. think they're really I'd still interested. Say, I'd still say 45. Yeah, I don't think they're still really interested in celebrities and in Yeezy and in mm. hip hop in Kanye's hip hop in particular. Mm. So I think the most votes we'll get for Kanye would be from the millennials and next gen people, not so much the adults. And most people who vote happen to be the seniors, the older people. Mm. That's why I don't think Kanye will be president. Yeah, He has but, some great points of why yeah. he should be president. But I think, I'm South African and I can say this, Joe Biden might be the next president. I'm going Bernie, dude. I'm sorry. I'm going Bernie Sanders. You're going Sanders. I'm going Sanders. Dude, he's Just a to... really good guy. Yeah. He was on Rogan's podcast. Yeah, man. Look, yeah. look, don't get me Bernie wrong. Guy. I Bernie. Here's the problem, right? I'm a rock musician. I don't listen to Kanye. <laughs> I have a totally different <laughs> no, outlook on what I, music yeah. should sound like. And here's the thing. Yeah. I understand controversial past. I mean, I'm a fan of ronnie radke from falling in reverse that guy is probably the most controversial past you will ever see in your life but Yee. but big but big but it's just there's so much that could go wrong and can go wrong especially considering you know they had trump as a president trump yeah like i don't think he'll get voted on again yeah, I think no, no, no get ways. more than twenty percent. He'll okay, he'll probably get like twenty percent. But remember, there's a lot of there's a lot of Americans who there's a lot of hardcore yeah. Republicans. Yeah, there's and a the lot reason, of hardcore. So the reason Trump got president became president, there was many reasons, but mm -hmm. one of the biggest ones was because he got the people who never used to vote to start voting. Those mm. who live in the counties, I mean the small towns, they're like, I. I don't want to vote for the left. I don't want to vote for the right. Um, mm. I don't know who to vote for, so I'm not going to vote. Some change their mind. Yo, let's yeah. get you guys voting. And some people just never got around to voting. Some, mm. may, some, some people just vote. were like, and no. there's a lot of people who don't vote. Yeah. That was his advantage. Quite smart. Yeah. But I think now that the people realize, okay, this guy is, sorry for my French, a freaking maniac. Mm. And he's not doing the best thing for the country. Uh, maybe for the economy, not anymore. Mm, not anymore. When he was president, he was. Money was growing. Sort of, yeah. As he's a businessman. Now, what's happening? No, no, no. Trump is gone. I don't think he's going to get voted in again. That's my opinion. I'm entitled mm. to that, as we know that. Yeah. Honestly, though. This episode's going to get a yeah. whole lot better. Stay tuned, guys. Yes. I'm psyched. Ugh, Trump Yo, is just uh, Trump is just Trump. Let's put it like that. And Kanye, yeah. the thing is, I saw today Kanye is anti-abortion and anti-vaccines, anti which are two of the worst he antis said he's you can be. never voted in his life. So, why, yeah. why is he running for president if the dude has never voted? Because maybe because he doesn't why? know who to vote for. He doesn't trust. Like Hillary had a that email scandal, and Trump had the Russian scandal. So people like, I don't trust. I'm not gonna vote for both of them. So yeah. I understand why I don't vote for but some here's people the thing. that have their cons yeah. stuff. I turned 18 on a voting year and I voted. I definitely voted. Because yeah. here's the problem. If you don't vote, you are not allowed to have any say. No matter what country you're from, you're, 
if you do not vote, you do not have any say on anything political because I think you, you didn't have a choose that. You just can't complain. Yeah, yeah, you can you can say you can have a conversation about yeah. it. You just can't complain about anything. Oh, our this is too high. Our unemployment is too high. Yeah, well, you didn't want to change that. You didn't vote. Mm. So I voted for this party. And th I believe yeah. they also had controversies. But. Yeah. But. At least you voted. Yeah, I voted. Now I can complain as much as I want about politics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Politics is such a big topic. It's oh such gosh. a big and interesting topic. But. Yeah. We don't want to get too into it, because <laughs> if yeah. you get into it, I start <laughs> getting hyped. Get yeah, you have the to thing is, lightly yeah. all the time. I start with politics. I always get hyped up with any sort of politics, and then I land up saying so yeah, many yeah. things, and people are like, you know, what? <laughs> it's just an intense subject. Let's be real. It's a really yeah. intense subject. I'm gonna end this by saying, this yes. is what Kanye always had to say. Oh, no. Like anything I've ever done in my life, says Mr. West, I'm going to win. He wants to win. The, the, anyway. Okay. Can I have one more point on, on this whole Kanye situation? But who wouldn't want to win? Yes, go for he it. He is way go too for. arrogant. Kanye needs to get humble real I, quick. Like, really quick. Do you think he's arrogant now? Like, I follow Kanye, so I've seen change. Mm. Like, when last have you seen Kanye's character? He's um, super aggro. Yeah, but the thing is... There's a difference know. between there's a lot to say about him. yeah. There's a difference from the yeah. face he puts on in public and who's he's at who he's at home. Mm. Yeah, that's also another thing. So you never really know people. Anyway, Honestly, getting yeah. out of that mush mush. Let's get out of that, bro. Also in the USA, the CIA is hiding in the public. The CIA, Central Intelligence, they are hiding. They're making TV commercials. If you want to join the CIA. Join us. Join us now. That is crazy. Would you want to join the CIA or like oh, the FBI? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Same, bro. I'd want to join like the CIA. Fast and the Furious 8. I'm like, bro. I watch Criminal Minds. That movie is so cool. Fight me. <laughs> I want to be part of the CIA. Uh, I am here, South African. I'll still work for you guys. Mm, yeah, so honestly, I don't, I don't know, man. CIA so cool. are doing their own thing. They're just... You re you, you re they released the advert like to help they want to make like a more diverse workforce mm -hmm. they, but i'm like if they have such good spies shouldn't they already know who to hire yeah like they're the cia not the not saps you know yeah i mean and then they send their email out so like send your submissions here and oh. then trevor noah said it it made me laugh i'm oh. probably not gonna laugh now but he said Bro, <laughs> I'm laughing because I can't remember. But Ooh. he said, if the CIA sends out their email to, yes. to the public, guys, you can join. Here's our email. Shouldn't the recruits out not get the email and then them finding the email be the first task to join the CIA? Ooh. So, like, we're not going to give you the email. Find the email. That's your first task to join the CIA because it's a mm. central intelligence. Yeah, so it's but, really knowledge yeah. to him. It's like, here's our email. China, here's the email. You know what our details are. Here we go. Uh, I still find it funny because there's so many ways to hide, like, an email. There are so many yeah. different ways. And, you know, someone who's studying IT, I understand how I would be able to find some of these ways. Embedded Ooh. in, like, bits of code here and there that you then have to decipher to try and find exactly what's going on. And they'd have to bounce you around to different websites. If you get That's what I'm so saying, crazy. you know? Not so really, to be honest. It's so much. There's, look, there's so many ways you can hide an email. <laughs> Where, how did we get to? Oh, yeah, you want to join the CIA? Yeah, yeah find our CIA, email. Meet the email. Yeah. But I mean, Here's our email, send your submissions. Send your submissions. That's so funny. So Hi, guys, my I... name's Caden. I want to join the CIA. <laughs> Here's why. Um, Once I found this that no one else could find, <laughs> it's like... I was, like <laughs> I was the best <laughs> searcher. I was the best searcher on the search. East. I'm Jamie on Joe Rogan's podcast. I can search up anything. It's oh. like, no, guys, we're not going to send you an email. Let's you find it out. And then yeah. that's a task by itself. Yeah. We can secret stuff. Exactly. My gosh. CIA. That's such a bro. weird way to be CIA. CIA. 
What is going on? Why not first? <laughs> Such a weird time. Mm. What a time to be alive. Mm. In the words of Nick Deep, what a time to be alive. Yeah, bro. But speaking of stuff, <laughs> I don't know. Stuff. There's not a good. There's not a good <laughs> yes. segue for whatever I'm speaking about to talk winter, about. Speaking of winter, summer's not looking so good. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So. Yeah. Recently, I think to, it was today or yesterday, Ninja came back to YouTube. Like, oh yes, what's going on? The good okay, old Ninja. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, um, Ninja got bought a while ago by a streaming platform called Mixer that was funded by Microsoft. There was a massive thing about it. Yeah. And now Mixer has shut down. Now, the problem there yeah, lies. It. Ninja. Bought by Facebook Gaming. Yeah. Bought by Facebook Gaming. Ninja has been practically released. He is allowed to go stream wherever. So, where did he stream? Free YouTube. And I honestly think he is doing good. Ninja has a... Ninja knows where he's going. I think mm. Mixer also bought Shroud. Mixer also bought a Counter-Strike streamer called Shroud. And yeah, he's I, also a big gamer. Yeah, I don't know where... Sh where Shroud's going. I know Ninja is, you know, thinking about YouTube. He might go back to Twitch. I'm not sure. You make good money off YouTube. I yeah. wouldn't blame him if he goes to YouTube. Yeah, I mean... So, for you, for those yeah. of you we just giving context, Archer, who don't know yeah. Ninja, one of the biggest gamers in the industry at the moment, the blue head monster. You know, mm. this guy has made money. So, um, he was on Twitch and then Mixer offered him what is it three, like? It was three mil. Three, a three million dollar contract. Mil. Yeah. Yeah. To stream on their really platform. Crazy. And he sure. could keep that money. Like he got just a cash payout right there. Bro, he makes $500,000 a month. Yeah, exactly. From YouTube alone. Then he has his sponsors. And then he, he gets like creator code, stuff like that from games. Yeah. And also. Merchandise. On Twitch. He makes money. On Twitch and Mixer. Let me explain something quickly. On yeah. a... On a Mixer and Twitch, subscribing is an entirely different thing. Subscribing, you pay money to a streamer to, you know, like help fund them. It's like... Yeah, to support them. Yeah, it's like the, a Patreon kind of vibe on yeah. Twitch. And you pay you like a that. subscription for some sort of months. You can donate so. money to them for whatever reason. And generally, the donations have like a little pop up, and you will see like your name, and then you can type and a message. And he gets a lot. And he gets a so lot. Let's say you stream for an hour, you're getting people donating five dollars every minute. Yeah. Bro, he's making money. Let's just say. Yeah. That. And here's the thing, he can, uh, his subs, right? He had like probably at least like a thousand Twitch subscribers, and the thing is. I think the minimum page for a Twitch subscriber is like $5 or something crazy like that. And $5 yeah. is quite a bit. So times it by a thousand. That's what he he'd be making like a month. He had subscribers. Yeah. So already then it's Yo, like... Tyler, you're making money, bro. Yeah. And there's people who pay like $100 tier three subscriptions, which yeah. are like really... Because there's, there's different levels of subscriptions. So now the top one, this guy was making a heck of a lot of money and he got bought for three mil. Keep in mind, if he, he got bought for three mil, okay, he can quit YouTube, he can quit whatever and sit with three mil yeah. for the rest of his life. It's very comfortable to live with that. That's sorted for life, you and your family. Mm. And the thing is, a lot of people were thinking, oh, there's this new streaming platform we can go and stream on to try and grow ourselves didn't work so well yeah. but yeah that's that's what actually but, that's what's been happening in the gaming sphere let's not even get know, on to Dr. Disrespect think, so that platform failed because mm. it obviously it, shut, it closed down yeah um but it's because i don't think a platform can rely on an influencer yeah it it's really like can't. we see some platforms just buy out influencers and then they're exclusive to that so um Netflix will buy a movie, it'll be exclusive to Netflix. You won't be able to get it on box office and other things. Mm. That's a different story, but some other like apps, they, they just buy influencers and they give mm. them an amount. For example, Joe Rogan getting to Spotify for $100 million. 
mm-hmm. is exclusive there. Yeah. But if you're a platform that's not established, not successful, starting up like Mixer was, you can't mm-hmm. rely on one influencer to carry your platform. It's not exactly. going to work. And one of the and biggest and one of the biggest things that was up with the um what was it now with with Mixer is that it didn't bring anything new to the table. Like if you're going to start a social media platform, make something new about it. So for example, Spotify, it's an audio platform. It's really good for listening to high quality music. And now they've obviously they have quite a few podcasts. They have the Joe Rogan podcast. And yeah, that's that's on there. What um they have that exclusive exclusivity. But yeah. the thing is Spotify built itself from being a music distribution platform, so it has that. So they can afford to, you know, buy that buy someone like Joe Rogan to get yeah. to get their return on that. And they can still have all their music. That makes sense. Exactly. And sure. the music's distributed, everything is still, you know, hunky dory for them. And that's what the problem yeah, was with works. Mixer, is they just copied Twitch. They had the same business model and everything. They just bought two big influencers, didn't try add anything new. Didn't, they didn't try to, yeah, they didn't try anything new. And that's where their downfall was. Definitely. Mm. Well, Ninja, we're wishing you all the best. I know he's not going to be successful anyway, mm. because he, really he has is. a massive community behind him. Mm, Speaking of our community, <laughs> we're getting back to what's happening in the US. Yes. We're not, we, we love South Africa more than the US, obviously, but there's just some crazy topics to talk about there. We're the not US always has some good news. In South Africa. It's just, this is some stuff that you have to hear. The Cardin Let's hear it. Bro, oh, heard I heard about, about this on Twitter. The old lady, oh, yes. I heard Auntie about Cardin. this. Dan. I heard this. Auntie Cardin. Auntie Cardin. Auntie Cardin. <laughs> You're here in South Africa, if you know the Auntie Garden meme, you know. It's totally different to the American thing. Just by the way, anyone who's watching us from the US or anywhere around the world, that it's totally different. I can assure you. (laughs) Is it? (laughs) Is it? It is, right? It is different. It is very different to... But you know what? We still appreciate the Karen meme. Because we know what it's like. We We know the Karen meme. Trust me, we have our so own cards here in South Africa. So those of you who don't know Karin, the name is like a tongue-in-cheek type of nod to Karin. The vital nickname that has been used to label a white woman who raised concerns and the, raised their trivial complaints to a person in authority, whether it be a manager or the police. So mm. on a serious note, um, the Karin Act is introduced in San Francisco, like it's official so it's basically in audience to outlaw racially motivated 911 calls. So if a lady yeah. calls and says, there's a, there's a man of color um, walking fast behind me. That's mm. a that's a complaint. Yeah. Um, just because that guy is a man of color. Straight up hang out. You'll get a criminal just... charge for that. Yeah. So now the Garden Act is saying you'll get a criminal charge for that. Named after mm. itself. Garden Act. That is so funny. But it's 2020, Bruh. you never know what's going to happen. It's 2020. Weird thing, weirder things have happened. Very strange yeah. things have but happened But this is 911 calls that is unacceptable. Exactly. But that's why they're introducing the, the Karen Act. Or the Karen yeah. Act, sorry. Karen, Karen. Well, whatever you Karen. call it. We we understand. Ugh. Oh my gosh. It's going to be... It's so crazy yeah. calls, bro. There's a one yeah. story, so... Um, San Francisco also saw its own Karen incident play out in June when a white couple confronted a Filipino man outside his home for writing Black Lives Matter on his retaining wall. The couple claimed they knew who lived in the man's home and threatened to call the police on him, the video shows. So mm-hmm. this guy's busy painting Black Lives Matter on his wall. Yeah. The couple's like, that's not his home. He is spray painting on someone else's wall. We're going to call the cops on you. That is not your home. I know someone who stays in that home. They're just mm-hmm. saying that they obviously don't. Yeah. The man's like, I stay here. I stay oh, he's here. saying this is not my home. Some people are crazy, bro. Bruh. I can't believe that, though. It's a crazy world out there. It's really a crazy world. There's a people, world outside your yeah. window. There's a... 
Oh song. yes. Oh yes. Such a good song. Yeah, but what else you got for us, bro? Nothing much. Nothing really. Everything just seems right now. Everything's up in the air. There's a lot going on. I wonder what's gonna happen in the next like year, six months. Yeah. Yeah, guys. I'm not gonna lie. 2020 has been a year. I think we all owe 2019 oh, yeah. an apology, guys. We all thought that was a bad year. Yeah, we guys, owe it an apology. It was so tough. Oh my gosh. It's it was so December tough. December 2019. I can't wait for the year to end. <laughs> 2020 oh, yeah. it's us. <laughs> the girls are like, uh-oh. Oh, let's go no. Back. Let's go back. Yeah, 2020. Here's the thing, though, right? 2020 off, started off Listen. so good. And then everything Bro, just went. So nice. Yeah. What was, I'm, oh, I'm what was the first thing that happened? Sorry? My birthday was 1st of March, so just oh. before quarantine. Oh, that sucks, bro. Shout out that Justin really Bieber, sucks. we share a birthday. Oh, the no. first thing that happened... What was the first um, thing that happened this year? Was it was it the fires it or... No, 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 it was World War III well, threats. Yeah. Yeah, World so the first did. thing that started this year off was a World about War III And that's crazy by itself. World yeah. War III, are you kidding me? We had World War III threats. Oh, fun fact. Threats. See, yeah. it's killed more people than World War One and World War Two combined over time. That's that is true. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. Moving on, bro. World War World Three. Three <laughs> it's like we had we've had an incredibly strange year, but the then again, strange. this podcast has been going now for how many? How long? Bro, we are actually gaining traction. So we've been going since also since March. Yeah, we've been going since March. April, May, June. It's like our fourth month. That's pretty sick. Yeah, well, happy twenty fifth. We love you guys the most. And if you're still watching this video, you're our favorite, favorite yes, listeners. Man. If you listen till the end, we just have some extra love and extra jokes for you. That's what it is. Yes, it's the twenty fifth episode. Like yeah. we've done twenty five of these. A lot. Uh, the original ones. Guys, if you go back and you watch the original podcasts, it was us two sitting in this room over here, you know, doing a podcast. Yeah. I think we had like two where we had video of us sitting here. Yeah. And then I mean, we wanted yeah. to go to each other's houses. The first then, one was in our additional studio. We might yes. as well give you a backstory. So we have our additional studio headquarters. Not going to tell you where that is. No, not going to tell <laughs> you where that one is. That's a funny thing myself. Anyway. Yeah. And we were recording that one. It was a recorded episode. Then something happened. I think my battery died. So the camera yeah. stopped recording. So we just had to do audio only. And then um, we start to hear about this quarantine thing. And then so I'm like, okay, James, let's just record as much as we can. And then we set up the studio in Yamez's house. And that was also, we recorded that one. Camera faulty or whatever it was. And we had mm. to do audio only again. So we recorded it. You'll find it on our IG TV link in description. So our yes. IG account. Follow us. You know what the time it is. And then from episode three, we started to do videos. Yeah. That was pretty sick. We almost have 1K views on our first video. If you That's haven't watched mental. that episode, that was pretty fun. Good yes, jokes. Indeed it Most was. embarrassing stories. Living oh, in yes. space. Billionaire advice. Yes. No clickbait. That was... We gave some great that's advice. what that's what we talked about. That <laughs> was a Berlinier, crazy time. We listened to Berlin. Yeah. Yes. But anyways, yeah. That well, has been an episode, episode and a half. Yeah. Forty it's been minutes. Crazy. This is the good times. Yes, man. Twenty twenty. Bad things have happened. Good things have happened. But you know what? Mm. Listening to this podcast is gonna make your day better. So make sure you watch the previous episode, subscribe and turn on the notification bell in the corner right over there. Um, it just helps us out and that way you'll know when we post. The greatest is yet to come for this podcast. I can tell you, we've had UFC um, fighters on the podcast, Cystic Fibrosis Warriors, Entrepreneurs, three-time world champion Tom Curran. You know, we have some great people on the podcast. But even better ones to come. I'm not even kidding. I'm not just saying that. So yes, stay mate. tuned. Me and Yamez, we only want the best for this channel. So that you guys can enjoy it more and more. So subscribe. Subscribe. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Have the best week, guys. 
We post every Saturday. You already know. 5 p.m. most of the time. Most Thank you, time. G. Have the best week. Stay positive. Test negative. <laughs> See you guys. Peace. Later, skater.